All right, on this edition of the Fit Rockstar Show, we have the glamorous, sensational top competitor in the women's bodybuilding IFBB Pro, Miss Alicia Young. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Who is this That's wonderful visual. little this angel? This is Milo. Say Milo. hi. Hi, sweet. Milo. What's his sweatshirt say? Um, it says. Size matters. size matters. Oh my goodness. Where's mine? Yes. I have a shirt for you. Okay. Because size matters. You. Size matters. I have a shirt for you. So when guys see that and they see me, they're going to be like, oh. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. You want to go? Uh, all right, Miss Young. So the world wants to know what have you been up to? Um, we missed you. What, well, let last me catch year. up on this. Yeah. First of all, I hope your mother's doing well. I know that yes. she just had surgery. So. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, she had um, brain surgery, major brain tumor that was removed. So she's doing better. Um, it, it was successful. It's just going to be a rough recovery and getting her equilibrium back and all those things. So, mm -hmm. but she's doing good. Okay, better. Good. Yeah, yes. I know. She's, she's a trooper. I've met her. She she's is. Sweetheart. Yeah. Sweetheart. How's your father doing? He's doing good. Is he still he's, hitting the weights? He's hitting the weights. He, he was worried about mom. Like, yeah. they're like stuck like glue. So, yeah. but yeah, everybody's doing good. So. so what's been going on? Last year, we didn't get a chance to see you on stage, which, you know, things happen. Yes. Um, and, you know, we're all about the health and everything. That's yes. that's very vital, isn't it? Yeah. Especially as a female bodybuilder. Absolutely. Yeah. So from your take, because you're very outspoken in things, what would you say to our female bodybuilders, anyone for that matter, about health? Oh, I think, I mean, without your health, you truly have nothing. So yeah. health is wealth. Um, and, you know, the stage will always be there, um, but your health won't. Yes. So I think you need to truly, truly listen to your body, have doctors, you know, check you out, make sure. Because I think as athletes, especially professional athletes, it's easy for us to ignore or, you know, just keep pushing through because that's our competitive nature. Mm -hmm. I also think it's just really important to have people in your corner that can protect you from yourself sure. if, if needed, right. you know, and be like, hey. You know, and that's kind of what happened last year. I got about four weeks out and just got extremely, extremely sick. And um, for the first, you know, couple of days, I'm like, oh, this will pass. It's fine. Like, keep pushing, keep pushing. And then, you know, the people that I that I love that genuinely care were like, like, no, this isn't OK. Mm -hmm. So at that point, you know, bodybuilding has to definitely take a back seat. Mm -hmm. Like Olivia still needs a mom mm -hmm. and. I'm still a daughter, a sister, an aunt. Like those things matter way more than any bodybuilding show. I love how so. you think and put that because you're absolutely right. People don't think about those things. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So that's vital. Speaking of Olivia, how is she? She's she is good. As always. She's nine, going on sixteen. Sassy mm -hmm. as ever. I don't. Sassy. I have no idea where she got that from. <laughs> Definitely not me. But uh -huh. yeah. No, she's good. So what's uh? You've been doing a lot of fun things too. I've seen recently. You, I don't know. You're walking some plank or some, what was that? There was some. Oh yeah. Beam. <laughs> yeah. You know, we crazy go. Stuff? Yeah, we go um, once a week. Usually we go to like a jump house and it's like an obstacle. So that's you have I, a video of that in the jump house. Yeah. Yeah. So we do. It's a whole warehouse and it's massive, like trampolines, obstacles. So that ends up being my cardio for the day. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey, one day a week we can do that. Are you still in uh, Salt Lake City? <laughs> yes. OK, still cool. Salt Lake City. Yeah, cool. How is it over there? It's cold, right? Mm. Snowing. Snowing. We haven't had a lot of snow this year, though, but it's been cold. And then I came to Arizona hoping, hoping for some warm weather, it's and it's cold. been freezing. What Sorry. Heck? What the heck? Yeah, right. Uh, so tell me, you started getting into photography. <gasps> I did, Like, yes. you've got, like, what, 20 cameras and all kinds of stuff? Yes. I, yeah. You're blowing into it. Yeah. I really, I mean, I got to a point that, you know, a lot of girls were reaching out to me, like, you know, can I trust this photographer or can I you know what do you recommend or helping with outfits helping with and I said you know I just like want to try this and like 
if I can be on the other side of the camera and maybe help the girls feel more comfortable and I don't have any other motives, I'm sure. just like trying to capture you in your best. Um, so I just started practicing and that's really all it is. So I still have a ton to learn, but it's been so fun. I've seen some of your photos. So Very fun. nice. Thank you. Well, look, it's really great to have a woman photographer yes. because yes. look, most women don't know what to expect. Right. Some guys, and I'm not down in, there's some really good photographers yes, out there. Absolutely. But then there's some who, you know, just hold a camera thinking I'm a cam, you know, saying they're yeah. a cameraman. They're not. No. Yeah. They're taking these girls' photos, yes. using it for other things. Mm -hmm. And these girls have no idea what's they going on. Yeah. So what would you say to someone? I mean, if you were to give somebody advice about a person, you know, going to a photo shoot or whatever, what would you tell them? What would you say to look out for? I think the biggest thing is maybe just get a referral. You know, because if it's a legitimate photographer for a legitimate business, they're going to gladly give you two or three girls that they've worked with. Just verify who you're meeting, who you're working with, where the footage is going to be, you know, those sort of things. I think just be diligent in verifying people that they have worked mm -hmm. with in the past mm -hmm. or maybe even just seeing some of their work mm -hmm. so what can women do or anybody for that matter because you have a great social media following you're always on it you're mm -hmm. making great posts yeah you know you keep it fun and you keep it real what yeah. would you say to someone who wants to build their instagram or social media i think the biggest thing is keeping it real and honestly like i've gone back and forth like i've um debated sometimes like do I put Olivia out there on social media do I not do I express my mom's surgery or do I keep that completely private but in all honesty it wouldn't be authentic to myself and I know everybody has that choice too so Olivia is 80 percent of my life so if I did an Instagram page without her right. it would be really artificial right so and I think just um trying to be open and so people can relate, you know, it's, and it took me a while. It's, I'm still like sometimes speaking on camera or sharing certain things, being vulnerable, putting is not always easy, mm -hmm. but the feedback I get from it is what keeps me like, okay, this is good. Like somebody's like, oh, you've helped me through this, or my mom had that surgery too, or, you know, those sort of things are my sister has MS and oh, being wow. able to like share, you know, mm -hmm. similarities with people on a different level than just bodybuilding. When did your sister get diagnosed with MS? So my mom has MS, oh, but okay. like a fan had mm -hmm. messaged me and like mm -hmm. my mom just got diagnosed and you know, my mom was diagnosed 16 years ago. So we've, you know, seen the ups and the downs and he's just starting with his, mm -hmm. you know, on this journey. So mm -hmm. Just those sort of things, like it's hard. Yeah, and social media, you can reach mm -hmm. so many people, yeah, you can. and even if it's not a, a super happy, positive post, like maybe somebody else needs to hear that or feel that. Listen, you've inspired me because you keep it real, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, man, I can relate to her on that. And just like you yeah. said with the MS, like yeah. I didn't know that, but my best friend got diagnosed with MS mm. at the age of eighteen. Oh. So and we hard. grew up together playing soccer, and now she's in a wheelchair. It's sad. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it is sad, but it's yeah. like she, she's given up, mm -hmm. you know, even though I told her to give yeah. up. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, you inspire a lot of people you because know. you keep it real. And, yeah. and look, you're beautiful. No. You're, you're very yeah. creative with your photos as well. Like, I mean, yeah. you really know how to put things together. Oh, Which, is that yeah. also a secret into putting good photos out there is the outfits? And I think, it, I mean, I just like... To me, I just really try and do what feels right. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and that's the same with when I'm photographing other girls, like, or, you know, not even just fitness people, just anybody in general, like, make that person capture them, like, for them. Don't try and make them be something else or mm -hmm. a false persona, you know, just if, if they look comfortable, they'll, they'll, the photos will come out comfortable. What did you think of uh, women's bodybuilding last year? Did you think it was great at the Olympia and everything? I mean, what was your thoughts? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm super stoked women's bodybuilding's back. Um, I think, you know, it's been a rough couple of years for everybody, kind of like ups and downs and not knowing. So it was super nice to just feel like it was back and we're hopefully going in that in direction. Vegas, of now. Some, yes. Yeah. We yes. got the, uh, let's see, we have... 
the Indie Pro now has women's body yes, women, I which saw is that. interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, we have the Omaha still, and I think there's a Vancouver with women's body building. We've got a few nice. in Europe, which I'm not going to hear it right now. But, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so it's booming. And then people still say, oh, well, female body building, yeah. you know, it's it's not really there. Really? Yeah. Do they really? Yeah. Because they feel still like it say has it's a good dead. presence. That's right. weird. Interesting. That is weird. Yeah. Right. Well, people don't think that we sell tickets. Mm. You know, they don't think that we are you know, relevant. Or, right. Mm-hmm. So I say to them, you're wrong because yeah. we work freaking hard. The girls right. are great. I mean, somebody like yourself, mm. which again, I hope that we get to see you on stage this year yes. because you have a phenomenal physique. Oh, thank I was you. actually fangirling over your pictures um <laughs> if you can if you can look back at all your contests you've ever done what was the best alicia young you ever brought to the stage um i think the last rising phoenix i did um was probably like it wasn't it was the best i looked but also the best i felt mm-hmm. um on stage i didn't and even leading up to it i felt really healthy i felt really good and i think you know last year even during the prep, my body, like it just fell off. You know, I was like, I don't, I don't feel healthy or, you know, just not responding quite the same. And, um, but yeah, last rising Phoenix, I, I really, even leading, like I said, up to the show, I had my bad diet days, if you will, but I felt, I felt amazing. So what do you plan on bringing to the stage this year? I mean, you have incredible size. Thank you. So what can we expect? I think um, for me, it's always going to be about conditioning. Um, So just keeping as much muscle as possible, but getting that like really, really lean conditioning look. Do you find that it's hard to like, I mean, you can just look at weights and you put on muscle. Am I right? (laughs) Yeah, I, I put on muscle very easily. So it's, yeah. I'm so envious. But, but getting super lean is like. An uphill, it's against my grain. Is that because so. your body's trying to hold on to all the the, the size? And I think so. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just you know you're either one or the other. You're you know, and just my body type is like no. Is that why you have the hashtag size matters? Yes. So so tell size me, you have a clothing matters. line. You got stuff going I do. on. Mm-hmm. Talk about this clothing line. Tell me about this because yes. that's new, right? It is new. Okay. So there's sort of like three divisions in it so my size matters um size matters so we're gonna have like in every level right in every level you hear that guys size yeah matters, matters. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah we have size matters and then aya apparel so alicia young apparel oh wow and then um i'm just working on basic uh workout clothing and huh. it's gonna be sexy yes it's going to okay. be my mom brand. So that kind oh. of comes from Max, Olivia, and Milo, um, my three, two fur babies and my one baby. People always ask how I got here. I was willing to work just a little harder than everyone else. Every damn day. If I can have hundreds of hours back, you know I'm going to grab them. Spending hours prepping chicken, rice, and vegetables, F that. I rely on perfect nutrition. I rely on trifecta. Um, And that's just to kind of reach out to moms and that you don't have to pick. Like, it really frustrates me that I feel like when you become a mom, people are like, okay, you're a mom now, so you can't be sexy. I hate that. Or you can't do this, or you can't, like... And so I kind of got inspired to do some sexy, like, workout gear, Mm -hmm. but a mom brand. Like, Mm -hmm. it's fine. How did you get this idea? How did that... I don't... Honestly, I was... brilliant. It's so funny. I was... I was cooking with my daughter, and we were doing a TikTok, and we just filmed us, like, cooking some chick... You know, we were just making stir fry or something, and um, I was going to post it on TikTok, and I was like, oh, what can I say about this? Like, cooking with... And I'm like, cooking with Max, Olivia, and Milo. And I was like, oh, that's mom. Like, cooking with mom, M-O-M. So that's just kind of, I, like I was like, this is. I think that's going to take off really well. Because you're right. You. So you're right. Because a lot of women who are mothers think that people tell them, oh, you can't be sexy. Or you can't right. Be Screw you. Mm-hmm. You know, you should do whatever you feel is comfortable. Right. You could be a sexy mom. What's wrong with Absolutely. that? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Know, right? I mean, I love like, you know, Serena Williams mm-hmm. does it brilliant, brilliantly, mm-hmm. I think. It's she embodies all those characters and there's no reason that you should be limited. What else you got going on? So you got the clothing line, which clothing. I'm happy you gave me a size matters thing. Thank yes, you. size matters. <laughs> yes. Um, and just training. Um, I've been training full time. Obviously, working hard to. Are you training clients now too? I am. Tell me, now, is this something you enjoy doing? Obviously, I do. I love. Um, I love my clients that really have no idea about any sort of fitness or any sort of nutrition. Um, I have three little ladies that I train that are like 80 oh, in their I love 80s. That. And just the difference that we've been able to make in six months really for them has been life changing. Huh. So that's been really fun. Like, um, so yeah, I do train. And then I just started, um, I got certified about seven months ago um, in a thing called tempering. So I saw that. Okay, yes. Alicia, I s- seen this thing tempering. Yes. What the hell is it? Yeah. So it? Um, it's getting more widely known. Um, mm-hmm. It was actually on the Super Bowl. They were tempering <laughs> players in between. So it is, you know, some of my pe- new people that are like, oh, I've never heard of that. Right. I don't know about that. But um, Donnie uh, developed it. Thompson and he uh, was a power lifter, won the Arnold a few times yeah. and I could be wrong on some of those things, but he's, he's an amazing guy and um, tempering is more time under tension. Um, it's working the muscles. It's a form of massage um, and recovery. Do you have to have a foam roller? Like They're actually, um, the rollers are steel and mm-hmm. really heavy. So the, the lightest one I have is 60 pounds. Oh my God. Um, and just like it sounds, it's, it really is time under tension. So it's, you know, letting the vertebras go into their place naturally. And, um, I really, really got interested in it because I, I had heard and done some research, knew some people that had really good success with people that had MS, um, just helping because a lot of times the muscles bind up, Mm -hmm. um, helping work that out and still keeping the nerves active, so I, um, my mom gets an infusion once a month mm-hmm. is her medication. Mm-hmm. And so, um, I started just going in there into the clinics and while, cause they just have to sit there for four hours mm-hmm. with this IV running and, um, wow. j- you know, just working, working on the, the ladies that, or gentlemen that were sitting there, um, and just seeing, I just am genuinely curious, like, does this help? Mm-hmm. And I'm still in the learning phases, but. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Have you big. noticed a change when you tried it? Huge. Yeah. It was actually really, really life changing for me mm-hmm. personally. And I've tried a lot of things just like sure. every other athlete. Sure. Um, for me, the benefits versus like regular massage, especially after car accidents and stuff mm-hmm. and with right. my neck injuries, um, regular massage sometimes caused more inflammation for me and made it worse. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's exciting. I would have rather did that than that. Uh, so tomorrow I have a two-hour massage schedule. I Yeah. You're going to have to come see me, though, because moving that stuff, like my heaviest bar is 160. Oh so you're going to have to come to Utah. 160 pounds. Yeah. So they, they preload them. Like, I mean, at one time they can put a few hundred pounds. So if I'm laying, how does it, so if I'm laying down, am I laying on my back and then you're just like. On your this, belly. So. On your belly. And mm-hmm. you, rubbing this this you bar. can you can rub it or like i said time under tension so right. we'll like preload Ooh. three of the bars okay um horizontally vertically depending on what we're trying to do and then just helping you like breathe into that oh so it's laying on top of me mm-hmm. and i'm mm-hmm. breathing yep yep <laughs> So, and we do things okay. like with calves, with um, IT bands. I Can have I just a, put a big bodybuilder and have them sit on top of me? Right. Kind of it's thing, pretty, right? I mean, it was, I think, designed, it can work for any type of person, but it was really designed for bigger athletes because mm. I think they were having a hard time, like, getting into the muscle. That's why it's been really big in the football That's community. The, the Huge. So you use uh, the bands as well. Yeah, we do. I don't, I'm still getting to that Mm -hmm. phase, Mm -hmm. but we mostly just use like, 
we have smaller bars that we can get into like trigger points. That's cool. And those all are like That's solid exciting. steel. Yeah. What else ex- you got? So you got all these other different yeah. adventures going on. It's so fun. Yes. And I'm sure you got more. You're always very business oriented <laughs> and different things. Yeah. Really. I mean, yeah. you, you literally put your hand in every single part yeah. that you can because yeah. it's good. You want to yeah. be well rounded, right? Yeah. And I think you have to evolve. Now, your background was it real estate? Um, I owned a mortgage company. A mor- oh, you mm-hmm. owned a mortgage? Wow. Yeah. I was you a, gave that up? Uh, I was a mortgage broker, and during um, the rec- like when sure. the market tanked, I tanked. Mm. Um, it was really difficult, but the blessing behind it was just kind of crazy. I I was doing that full time. Everything was just like a lot of people was doing really really great without much notice, and then just losing it. Mm-hmm. But that's sort of when I got into bodybuilding. And realize like, oh, maybe I can do this and make money. Mm-hmm. And had I not been forced into that position, I don't know if I would have ever taken bodybuilding to where I've taken it. Sure. And so you've taken it far. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I mean, again, you're someone who can rock the stage. And you can you can knock some of these girls out. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I mean, mm-hmm. look, and everybody, all your fans know it. Everybody knows it that you can. And so we're waiting for that moment for you to come out and make it happen. Yes. Yes. Because I want to see it happen. Yes. And I do too. You know, I mean, last year was honestly, it was really difficult to like go through a whole prep and, you know, get so close because I've never backed out of a show. Sure. Right. I've never, you know, for any reason. Mm -hmm. And I've dealt with a lot of, you know, just like anybody else, knees, shoulders, we all have our own, you know, and no prep is going to be perfect. But when it got to a point that, you know, there was internal bleeding and there was, you know, things that were inside, it was like, no. Let me ask you something, though. You being a businesswoman, you know, you, you do very well. Um, do you really feel that it's even necessary to for some to still compete? I mean, can't we just maintain a shape and physique, you know what I mean, without having to go through all that Mm -hmm. dramatic... I mean, look, I'm not trying to knock... I love competing. I know you love competing, but at the end of the day, you want to do what's best for business and you, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like... I don't want to feel like... There have been times I felt like I was pressured. Oh, you got to compete. you got to compete. It's like... Then it's like you really want to do it, but then you kind of like, I'm not in yeah. the mind zone. Yeah. Because the mind isn't important. It is. Important it's a that. huge part yeah. of it. And I think I, I understand that because, mm-hmm. like, there's always a lot of pressure, like, mm-hmm. compete every year, compete, or yeah. do more shows, or do, and, and, but realistically for a female, too, you know, to do, in my opinion, to do four shows a year, or, you know, you're not, most women are not built to be below mm-hmm. double digit body fat right. and just being realistic about that. And I think there is a huge market even for off season and for, and that's kind of what I hope to capture in photography is, you know, all shapes, all mm-hmm. sizes, athletes, not athletes. Um, and I would love to see, I mean, this is like bucket sure. list business yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. I would love to see like not necessarily a competition, but like a presentation or whatever. And and I guess we could judge it based on like a costume or, a you know, mm-hmm. just presenting a physique, sort of like a guest posing, mm-hmm. I guess. Um, and letting the girls be in whatever shape they want, mm-hmm. whether that's completely off season or dieted down. Because, you know, it's there's I think it's beautiful in all phases i think that if you was to promote a show like that now i'm not trying to steal anybody's thunder but there is a fashion show Uh coming up where they have oh actually all different types of physiques kind of like victoria's secret with the whole love it um but if you because you're so creative so good at the business stuff if you were to put together something like that i think it would take off very well yeah i just think it would be fun and it would give the girls Mm -hmm. A place, you know, because I think even somebody like me with my body type, um, you know, there's been times that it's which hashtag size matters. That's kind of where that comes from. Like you have too much muscle. You're too muscular. When my whole life I was told that. And as a ballet dancer, cheerleader, uh, they were like, you're too muscular. And then I find bodybuilding 
and I find them saying the same thing. And I'm Are like, Are you still getting that today? Oh, well, I, I've gotten that criticism and I've just chosen to do what my body's going to do. So without going and giving any names, I do remember <laughs> when something like that had happened. Yeah, yeah. And you came back and you actually blew everybody away. <laughs> and it was so funny. I'm just, because I remember the static that people, yeah, you know. sure, sure. And so when you came out, shredded everything, and those same people were yeah, clapping, right. going crazy. Because right. it's like they pretty much had their foot in their mouth. Yeah, you know, right. Because well, and to deny. me, it's like, you know, I don't, associate you know i i can understand them wanting to remain feminine and drawing that line i totally get that but to me having a lot of muscle doesn't mean being less feminine exactly if you're genetically built that way um you know let the big girls be big Mm -hmm. maybe maybe we need two categories for bodybuilding what do you mean by that like so i i mean at one point there was a heavyweight and a lightweight yes. Miss Olympia. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a great thing. I think it gives, because I've had a lot of physique girls be like, I would love to do bodybuilding, but I don't want to stand next to you or a Margie or, you know, I'm not big enough. So maybe just giving them something in between physique and heavyweight bodybuilding, if you will. I have asked about that for a long time. Yeah. And the, the response that I get is, money yeah because of that extra division do you know how many women would probably come out and compete in that well and even judging like i you know i even looked i watched obviously the olympia last year Mm. um if you put someone like me next to someone that is way way shredded like way leaner than me it it's apples to oranges i mean that that would be really hard to judge Right. It it would be it really at that point I believe comes down to a preference. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you as an individual prefer? Mm-hmm. Is right. it that really shredded lean look, or is it more muscular? Which one weighs heavier on those? Well, this is interesting you say that because you have someone like Mona, poor, poor yeah, mm-hmm. Mona, yeah, Mona. <laughs> I got um, who is shredded. Mm-hmm. Is she big? No. No, but she shredded. Everything. And has a beautiful physique. Beautiful physique, very pretty, great mm-hmm. poser. Put her next to you, if we're, say, at the Olympia, fast forward, and you're in great condition, where is it going to go there? Right, right. You know, you're curious to know. But, yeah. you know, in women's bodybuilding, I feel it's about size. I feel yeah. it's about conditioning and uh, having an overall package, right? Right, but right. Then again, it comes down to size. All right, I'm going against your thing. Size yeah. doesn't matter because right. we have someone like her who's smaller. So that's kind of... Sure. Which I think, I mean, you know, of course it's going to be money, but like in a perfect world, I don't think, I think both physiques are great. Mm -hmm. Like, I just think it is, if I was a 19 year old female bodybuilder right now, and I was how I was built, just naturally bigger, especially at 19, getting super, super lean was like not even an option. Like I couldn't do it. So unfortunately I think it, um, demotivates some of the girls that are naturally more muscular because they're like, man, I can't, I can't get shredded glutes or like, there's no way. And, you know, I think if maybe they had a category that there was like a weight cut off or something, Mm -hmm. it would just give them, I'm going to put this out there because I agree with you. I really think it's time that we have a two division, you know, for mm-hmm. for everyone. Sure. Because sure. I do feel some women don't want to compete because they're afraid of being too big. Too big. Yeah. 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 And that I mean, to me it's like really no different than the two twelve to the open. Because no. some of these girls, I mean, I honestly outweigh by thirty pounds. So it's like you can't put somebody on a stage with a thirty pound difference. And judge, like, you know, they don't do it in boxing. They don't do it in yeah. UFC. They don't, like, it just doesn't make sense. I'm just going to throw this. Not knocking the guys, but someone like you who is in tip-top shape, you can easily wipe the floor with some of these pro guys. Who can, <laughs> I'm not lying. I mean, yeah. look, it's true. If oh. you had a, 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 the men and women competing together, right. you're in there. You would wipe the floor clean with some of these guys. <laughs> you know? I mean, you have, like, for one, your legs are incredible. Oh, thank you. Everything is incredible. But you have, like, yeah. the Tom Platts. 
Oh, thanks. So you're the female version of Tom. I'm waiting oh, for you. That's to do a big that. name. Yeah. Well, it's a big name, but you do yeah. have the. I mean, yeah. everything is beautiful. Thank you. How hard did you work on your quads? Was it just natural? No, know? I mean, I train them hard. Like I love a good hard leg day. Like training with him would be amazing. What's your number one leg exercise? Uh, squats. squats, definitely squats. Mm-hmm. I love. I mean, I prefer now, like with my neck injuries and stuff, the bar that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah whatever. That's a great There's bar. a yeah. proper name, but yeah. I want to see a shot. I don't know if you already done it. Maybe you have at the time class where he's bent over. And you got the whole oh, hamstring yes. shredded thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I want to see it now. Okay. You did what show? Was it the USA's where you have the beautiful the black? That black suit in your photo shoot, uh-huh. where you're like, is that was it USA? Yeah, USA? yeah I think so. I think it was like a leather you were looking. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you custom make that? I didn't make it, but yeah, I had it. Do made. you have a lot of your stuff custom made though? Yeah, right? most of it. Yeah. Do you remember when we went to Comic Con and you had that yes. little Alice in Wonderland yes. thing? Yes. Kim Buck made that, right? Yes, and she's so Speaking talented. Speaking of how mm. that photo shoot, you guys yeah. did together. No, she, you guys, she is so incredibly talented. Yeah. I mean, she can, there are, and I'm excited to like show this part too, because I love business, obviously, like my mind just works like that. But the artistic, I glue on Olivia's patches for soccer. Like we get some nail glue. We do not sew in my house. Nail glue? Yeah, if we're like. Is that the secret the patches? <laughs> no. Kim Kim came to my house and she's like, oh, oh my that's gosh, hilarious. we're going to have to sew that up. Nail glue. Yeah. So, um, but Kim, I'm just keep like, I'm like, there's such a big market for this, yes. especially for us. Like yes. you can't, you can't go in somewhere and buy something and she can create anything. In like 10 minutes. So I'm like, <laughs> you create it. I would love to do the business right. side of right. it. Um, Cause I think so many girls, I mean, you know, we order a bunch of stuff and we just anticipate that half of it isn't going to fit. No, it's and not. That's just how it's like it is. Made in China. It's meant for someone who's mm-hmm. small. Tiny. Yeah. How many clothes have you ripped? Oh, girl. <laughs> it's, no, seriously, let's, let's go in this real yeah, quick. So I know you've ordered some stuff. Yes. What's the worst? The leggings, the pants, or is it the shirts? I think shirt. So leggings stretch, right? Well, sometimes they don't. They stretch, but it's not like you have big right. Caps yes, and quads. So it's kind of how far yeah. can you stretch? Right, right. Dresses are always. I literally got stuck in a dress in a dressing room. Did like, you film it? I could. Well, I didn't. I couldn't even get oh, my arms my out. God. Like I was like, oh my what gosh! Did you like, do? what am I gonna do? Like I'm in. A, I'm in Nordstrom's. Like nice dress too, and I'm like. I okay. I can like literally like probably just rip out of this thing, or I'm gonna have to go get one of those ladies to help me. Like <laughs> I could not get out. So explain, walk me through it. So you're in this dress. Oh, so you, how are you? Like gosh. I mean, I had like started pulling it off, so I've got like one arm <laughs> stuck and like oh my hell, I was yeah, so it was a hot mess. Doing? Did you finally just rip it? I ended up. I mean, okay, so it already ripped, <laughs> and then I was like, okay. If if it's art, I'm gonna have to buy it anyway. Oh like we're just gonna. God. But yeah, we. I should have had a camera. You know what I would have did? <laughs> I would have ripped it, which I've done, and yeah. put it back in the rack. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay. For, You're it's like not what my the heck? fault. It's yeah. gotta be either sewn better or stretch more. Yeah, I can only I can only imagine how many shirts you've gone through in the past. Yeah, and stuff. It's, well, and it is. I mean. That's why I love somebody like Kim that's super creative because I'm like, I would love to wear a f- cute flannel shirt, but oh, yeah. that never, I mean, or a business, a real business yes. jacket, but I want it, I don't want it to look oversized, you know, but I can't go find a business jacket to fit. Speaking of business jackets, I want to ask your honest opinion on something. Do you think that it's masculine if a woman wears a tie? I don't that, think but so. looks sexy. Oh, you know? I love it. I love okay, that. That's something I want to. I've been wanting to do this for yes. the longest time, and I'm like, I don't know. Is it going to be? I like that look. Okay. There's no way you could be masculine though. Um, you could pull that off, girl. If I like, talk like this, hey, baby. <laughs> I mean, your curls and your boobs. Like, no. There's no way. <laughs> okay. No way. But yeah, that's something I want to do. I like love that. Shows. I want to have like a tie and a jacket kind of thing. So cute. All right, I'm gonna pimp it out with a cigar. Yes. All right. Do you smoke cigars? Uh, no, I'm not a big smoker, but I'm not opposed would you pretend? to it. I would, well, and I would try it. <laughs> I, I'll try pretty much anything at least once. But 
Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yep. Um, so the world wants to know, are you dating anybody? Um, uh, never mind. No, it's okay. No, I, yeah, I mean, I'm dating. Um, I've been divorced. Me and, me and Olivia are doing good. Are you having fun is my yes. point. That's yes. That's what I want. We're, we're doing that. Um, I, you know, unfortunately it was a really good friend of mine. Um, and you know, we had maybe talked about taking it more seriously. You diet down, train hard, and supplement smart for months. When the time comes to step on stage, don't leave your tan to chance. Go with the pros. Pro Tan. Number one worldwide since 1987 and the official sponsor of the Olympia for the last 15 years. Don't step on stage without it. Pro Tan. And he's been a huge part of Olivia's life um, since she was a little girl. So a lot of that made sense. Um, but unfortunately, he ended up committing suicide um, a couple weeks ago. So it's been that's been a whole nother mental journey and, you know, trying to make sense of that. And I think, you know, even that being said, I haven't really been able to yet, but hopefully eventually with social media and those sort of things, being able to like speak about that openly. Um, cause I think mental health is a, a big thing. We that, didn't have to come on here and I appreciate you saying yeah, that, but, yeah. uh, I'm sorry for your loss, yeah. but mental health is a big, it is a big yeah. thing. Especially in our industry. I agree. Right? I agree. A lot of women and men go yeah. through some really rough... And that's, again, is where I wanted to talk to you about, you know, the the pressure you feel into competing. Mm -hmm. Do we really have... When you feel that pressure, it I mean, is. is it really necessary to compete? Is it worth it? Right. Is it worth going crazy? Yeah. And, and financially. And... I mean, you know, like, it's... Unfortunately, I mean, it's... And it's really, really time consuming too. Oh so as a yeah. businesswoman, I mean, I can't help it. Like I'll I'm I'm a competitor too. I'm very mm -hmm. competitive as well. But if it doesn't make financial sense, it doesn't make sense for me. And so I take, you know, the hours and you know, sometimes I'll make more money as I transition as I'm dieting, but then I take all the hours into that and you know, my bottom line becomes less and less because mm -hmm. it's there's more expenses, there's more time, and your health too over I and love over how again. You think about all that stuff. Yeah, because some people don't. They actually yeah. look more at the short term sure. than they do the long term. Yeah. And look, we both probably know people who have given up their their lives mm -hmm. and their life savings mm -hmm. just to compete. Yes. Yes. Quit their job. You know, you no. you need to have some money in cushion. Yes. Is it worth it in the end? And the answer is no. Mm -hmm. That's just my yes. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And yeah. you have to look, you know, to your future. Mm -hmm. the, you're not getting a retirement. You're not getting right. life insurance. You're not getting medical insurance. Um, you know, I have a daughter to provide for. It's like, you know, I want her to go to, I would like her to go to college. I would like her to be able to help buy her a car, those sort of things. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of people will compete and give every single thing. And then let's say you get to 50, even if you have a room full of trophies and have accomplished everything, if, if that's all you have, you're going to have a pretty rough next 50 years Correct. of your life. Yeah. So I think just balance, trying to keep, you know, competing is very intense and very, but, but taking that time away and just realizing that there's a time and a place, you mm -hmm. know, and, and I'm as guilty as anybody else. When I'm in, I'm like all in competitive yes, and you are, <laughs> and I love, you know, I love it too. But yeah, financially, I mean, people just really need to be realistic with I think themselves. People need to hear that because that's yeah. not really talked about. It's not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And especially new, new athletes. Right. So like when I, start helping some, you know, I'm like, if you're doing this, thinking you're going to make a ton of money, you save yourself the hassle. If you can give your younger self advice when you got started into bodybuilding, what would it be? Um, I think size matters. Yeah. <laughs> size matters. I think, um, you know, it was really 
when I was trying to turn pro, it was really hard to hear over and over and over again, like, you're not lean enough, you're not lean enough. And even to a, a point, you know, people are like, oh, what did you do different? You know, what are, what are you doing different now than you were doing 12 years ago? The, honestly, the answer is I'm just 12 years older. So I like I don't think I was working any less hard then than I am now. But age, muscle maturity, hormones, all those things change mm-hmm. for a woman. Yeah. And but back then I was I was so frustrated. And you know, if if the wrong coach or wrong person would have got a hold of me, I you know, maybe would have done anything to get lean. Sure. Right. And so I think if my younger self or if I'm speaking to a new competitor, just time is worth a lot. Mm-hmm. So don't rush it, right. you know. That's if, the one thing people don't have, those patience. It's true. And and that's our society, right? Yeah. Like we want everything like right now. Second. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we want that miracle pill, yep. right? Yeah. Uh, and again, it goes down to the health with people just um, more is better, which it's not. You know, you can just do yes. little bits and be okay. But especially like you said, us being women, we're so more fragile. Yes. Guys, I mean, shoot, those yeah. guys can take whatever. <laughs> right. But us, right. we can't. It's just, we got no. this little thing here. Yeah. That our ovaries and all that. And it's, yeah. it takes a lot. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, so what else do you have? Anything else planned for your business woman stuff? Are you going to have, I would like to see, okay, first of all, the like a fashion show thing where you're talking yes. about something yes. in that nature. And I would like to see the Alicia Young Classic. Yes. Like a pro show or something. That would be awesome. It would be great. It would be amazing. How many, do you guys have any pro shows in uh, Salt Lake? We do. Um, we have, it's actually coming up, I think it's in April. Um, it's a pretty big show. It's a Bikini Pro and Men's Physique Pro and oh, okay. then a full MPC. But it has like a big expo, UFC type fighting, oh, wow. all different vendors. Like it's, it's a big event. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it would be awesome. Let me ask yeah. you, how come, have you decided to get into the movie film industry? Yeah, I'm, I'm open to it. I yeah. really am. As long as it's projected in a positive light. Of course. And, um, I, I love that type of stuff. I mean, you have, look, uh, you know, uh, Natalia Amazonka. Right? Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, no offense to anybody. She's great. She's great. She's big, but you have that wow factor oh. and so i mean look someone like you is a great representative of female bodybuilding mm-hmm. you are i mean you know that's um in my opinion the ideal female bodybuilder of course andrea shaw miss olympia sure, great sure. but you know for someone like you mm-hmm. it's perfect legs everything you're very feminine no, always is. girly you know yeah and you're a very personable person oh. and keep it real yeah and i admire you and thank you so much for telling our yeah. viewers yeah about the real of the, the, the right. finances, the work, just uh, it's a lot. But right. anyway, getting my point, I would love to see in film. I would love it. I love to see yeah. you doing stuff. Look, I'm not trying to again knock anybody. I'm not going to mention her name. We have a competitor, or someone mm-hmm. of the sport, who is on films and stuff, who is mm-hmm. not right, right. a great representative mm-hmm. of what women bodybuilding looks like. If well, and especially if you're being um, put out to the general public right right? like i think um you just want to try and represent it because people people are going to have an initial opinion and muscle is kind of one of those weird things people either really like it or really don't Mm -hmm. but it's amazing how if they see it in a different way or if they see you in the grocery store and you can tell it you know that they want to ask something they're uncomfortable and if you're nice to them and approach them their whole experience or opinion of bodybuilding changes. Mm. And that could change them for a lifetime, good or bad. So, Do you feel there's a lot of people out there who secretly like female bodybuilding, but they just don't want to talk about it? Oh, yeah. Which even that's kind of, like, weird, right? Right. Like, I mean, just, just be honest with yourself. And just, you know, if you like something like it or you know if we all looked exactly the same or were attracted to exactly the same thing it would be such a boring world it would be it would be so lame just let loose what you like yes. right i know yes. a, a couple guys who they always tell me oh i really like female bodybuilding but i can't really talk about it to my friends so i bash mm. you guys to them i don't really when they <sighs> talk about it i kind of agree with them and but i really love muscle 
You're like, no, but you really don't if you can't. No, you're an asshole. Yeah. You're like a closet (laughs) muscle lover. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just come out. You know, Uh, it's sad that people can't really do what they love and enjoy. But uh, anyway, so we're going to see you this year, hopefully, on stage. If not, I would like to see you helping out and inspiring other women competitors because we need that so badly. Yes. And I, I really am hoping. Um, you know, I'm going to really push this photography thing. And, you know, I I want to get to a position that I can afford to pay the girls really what oh, they're worth. Nice. And um, but more importantly, I just want to capture female bodybuilding in, in a different light. Like we all know that we train at the gym. We all eat chicken. We all we've seen we all eat chicken. Five thousand hotel shoots yeah you know what i'm saying and so and the posing is always yeah we got it we got it you know and just trying to capture any type of athlete not necessarily in two weeks before a show like how can we make you you know you are beautiful in that way and just capturing those lines and shapes in any condition i think that market has really been under produced Mm -hmm. if you will i think that uh that would be a great way for you to go towards women because a lot of them feel they have to look a certain right of course i'm guilty i'll say to the photographer i'm not ready for a shoot i got to be contest shape because i'm so you know you don't feel right comfortable in my own skin right but you can i mean given the right and maybe a female being behind the camera like given the right lighting and the right props or you know i mean I think a muscular female that is curvy and not tri- it's to me it's beautiful. Can I make a um you know I'm seeing these people put on these shoots in like exotic places. Yes, yes. So it'll be cool like if you get like a bunch of girls come out to the exotic place got the whole makeup artist and stuff. Mhm. Make it some good bank, get some good photos. Yeah. So my it's funny that you say that because my uh business logo or whatever so we're still working on that for my photography but it's going to be in the salt flats um and all the girls are going to be dark gothic makeup um and i want every type of woman so you know i have african-american i have bodybuilder i have you know Mm -hmm. very different my cousin is a runway model so we i mean to think we're related is mm-hmm. insane, but you know, capture all those and have them all in line, and then I'll be in the middle with maybe like something red and sure. a camera. So that's going to be like the brand. That's cool. So I, I really, like yeah, I want to like just promote women and especially competitors. I'm like, mm-hmm. you work so you work hard all year. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, don't just celebrate and publish and photograph your body that one time a year that one time a year and you know how it is you feel you feel like crap you feel like sometimes your face is super depleted you don't feel good like if i can get you in the off season we'll have some good breakfast have a mimosa like and then we can just like capture it Right, you so know, you guys would be drunk and having good pictures, right? right? That's yeah. the way to do it. Party, even most is for everybody, <laughs> right? Yeah. But that's you're right. So the yeah. thing is too is that again with the pressure, people feel, mm-hmm. you know, I gotta get in this shape. I gotta diet to extreme to yes. get that for the photo, you know. Uh, Where well, you're saying it's not necessary, right? Accept who you are at certain mm-hmm. stages mm-hmm. and be done with it, right? Because right. you do a lot of creative things, yeah. Not and just filters. Right yeah. Now. And there's a market <laughs> there for is it. A market. You know, I mean, it's, and I feel like for women, I can't be hypocritical because I'm like, you know, shoot your off season, right. publish it. Like yeah. I have to practice what I preach and it's always a struggle no matter what woman you are. Yeah, but just, see you, I've seen all your work and that's the thing. You always keep it classy, very sexy. You always put together these um, outfits that are just like, wow. So you really know. And your fans and everybody's like, holy smokes. You just play it off so well. But do you think a lot of uh, girls girls and guys don't really capture themselves enough documenting everything? Yes. Yes. And I think that the journey is interesting. You know, capture 
capture the journey, like the transition, the eight weeks out, six Some weeks out. Some of them don't want to do that, though. It's true. Even yeah. progress pictures are sometimes a struggle once a week. So I mean, the lighting has to be right. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, oh. And, and like you said, the pressure. I, but why do, you, why do you think there is so much pressure to compete? Because to compete, like pushing them to compete? Or just like every year. Feeling an obligation because, like, I've it felt is that an too. Yeah. yeah, you've got all these people around you who have this expectation. Mm-hmm. You want to, you got to be shredded, got to be this way. Now you're kind of like, oh, I better better get to that perform point because if yeah. I don't, then I'm gonna look like a joke. Yeah, that's what goes yeah. through my mind. And no, it's, it's like, true. You know, I don't want to feel like that. Yeah, I want to be able to do what I want to do. I want to bring the package that I want to bring in when you want to bring it. when I want to bring it exactly. Yeah. Not on their terms. Mm-hmm. It's got to be on mine because it comes down to the mental. Yeah. Because I think that when we push ourselves so extreme, your mind is like, you're, you're depressed. Yes. Yes. You know? And, you're and only- I've had preps like that. Me too. <laughs> where it's, your heart is not in no. the right place. No. Your heart and your mind and your body's only going to perform to a certain level, the rest has to be heart and mind. So what do you do about that, Alicia, to some of our competitors out, uh, competitors out there that deal with that? I mean, I've, I've done both. I've, um, you know, pushed through and mm-hmm. just, but like you said, it, it, it is a level of like not enjoying what I'm doing and feeling an obligation and feeling like it is a job and, and getting like almost depressed. Yeah. Like it's not good enough. It's not enough. I'm six weeks out, but I look like I'm eight weeks out or, you know, those sort of things. And then when I get out of that place, like this time of year and I look back, I'm like, I, I actually looked okay. Mm-hmm. But in that bubble, you're so critical. Right. And um, I think just trying, I've really tried the last couple of years just to be honest with myself Um, and I think what I started doing is I started, um, doing instead of like a written journal, like a video journal once a week, Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I, this is what I'm planning and I'm six weeks out. This is how I feel. This is what I'm doing. Um, and then just being able to revert back to that and just try to be really honest with myself. Keeps you on point. It does. Yeah. Yeah. And not just physically, like you said, mentally and, and not letting bodybuilding dictate your happiness like that was my biggest problem mm -hmm, alicia is that mm -hmm. i was letting bodybuilding for so many years Mm -hmm. dictate my happiness until i realized i got to enjoy a little bit of hazelnut in my coffee and stuff and it's like wow this is awesome and you love to train and you love to i mean it's yeah you just have to be real with yourself i think the more you put all these true keeping it real stuff Mm -hmm. out there yeah you connect with so many people all over right. the world. Because as a competitor, you almost feel yeah. guilty. when. Well, I felt guilty when I would feel like that. Yes. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, my gosh, like, I'm so blessed to be able to be doing this. And I should be so grateful. And I should. And I am, truly. But I also, like, mentally, I was like, man, this is just doesn't feel right. And I'm, it's like sucking the joy out of it. You don't want to do a show or get ready for something if you don't feel no joy. Yeah. I mean, listen, right. dieting sucks. It does, no matter what. You're not going to feel great. No. But you know what you're doing at the end game. Yeah. But you don't want to be to the point where it's like, now you're like angry at the world and just exactly. don't want to Because you, you almost get resentful, I yes. think, towards the sport. Yeah. At least yeah. me. I have always vouched to like... I don't ever want to feel like this sport is stealing my time with my family or my daughter or my, so I was always like, no matter what, like I won't not go to a family event because I'm dieting. Like I'll take my food. I'll take, cause I, what I didn't want to happen is ever look back and be like, man, that stole a huge chunk of my life mm-hmm. that I can't right. ever get back. Right. You know, like, especially with the daughter, because when you're yeah. a full time bodybuilder, mm-hmm. nah. and she's only seven months. Yeah. Right. I remember you saying you that know? in one of your posts a while back, and I was like, I have so much respect for this woman. <laughs> because, well, some yeah. people, again, they push away sure. the family. Like yeah. little kids and stuff, they don't right. think about that. Because right. it's all about them. This show and this event. Yeah, screw yeah. that. Right. But, right. Alicia, thank you for all yeah, you do. I can't course. wait to see all your 
oh. different adventures, right? And, uh, businesses. I mean, you, yeah. every single time I talk, you always have some different business. I know. I would love to see. Now, this is uh, Denise Messino and her magazine. We're, we're going to sure. go there. But if you had a magazine or a mm-hmm. book, yeah. Tasteful, you know, women's yeah. bodybuilding or whoever, all yeah. body shapes. And, mm-hmm. I think that'd be great. Plus, yeah. a long time ago, the Guinness World Book of Records had the most bodies and stuff. So it'd be cool to see, like, how yeah. many different physiques can we get? I don't right. even remember what it was. That but there a was cool a concept. movement that uh, these girls would get together. It was for something, but it was about the physiques. Like, we're all the same. Right. So it'd be cool if you can start, like, some right. type of movement yeah. Getting all these girls different shapes and sizes, just letting them right. know that yeah. they're beautiful right, inside and outside. You don't yes. have to be a certain way. No. I think you no. would be a success. Yeah. You already are a success in it. what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you for keeping it real to everybody. Yes. Thank you for keeping it real to us. Yes. But think about that because I, I think will. It, can, it will go far. And I yes. love the mommy thing. Yes. Mommy sexy. So yes. give us a shout out to um, your fans, your family. Whoever your sponsors, tell us about your again your yeah. businesses and then your social media. Yes, and then we can add that. I um yeah I mean first and foremost my daughter is my primary motivation um to just stay motivated and stay positive and my family without family I I truly have nothing but without health you truly have nothing either so um but a big shout out to um. Mary Jane designed is going to design my suits and we, we had big plans for last year. So we're still working on those. Um, she has such a creative mind and really can make a suit that fits your body. Um, wings of strength, like thank you to them for making this a possibility. Um, and yeah, just, just the fans. I mean, without them, I, I truly wouldn't be here. Um, competing just isn't enough. So without their support and encouragement, and it wouldn't be possible. So, and your social media, don't forget that. Yep, Alicia Young, Alicia Young um, on Size Instagram. Matters. Size matters. So it's funny, you, real quick about you talk about the suits. So, yeah, so you have a bigger chest than most people. Yes. We're just going to put it like yes, that. Yes. So it's cool because your suit designer is it the same one you've used for? Yeah. Them? Yeah. So she's so good because you can't really. Yeah. She she makes it to where it doesn't. She's even, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like you, the chest doesn't yeah. even come out too. So I need to see her. Yes, <laughs> she's amazing. Well, and that's the thing. Like you know, uh, there's a time and a place, right? So I I love big boobs. I'm like I do too. a fan. Right. And you know, but the, it, they don't always want that on stage. No. So just trying to conceal yeah. when it's necessary and reveal. She yeah. Well, conceal I like reveal. and reveal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Alicia, thank you so much. Yeah. Conceal and reveal. All right. Um, now my head's <laughs> going crazy, but uh, thank you for coming. Yes, it was such a pleasure you having you me. and Milo, wherever he is. Yep, probably he's, napping. He's always <laughs> napping. Uh, it's a pleasure having you. Um, Till next time, Fit Rockstar Show. Thank you, Alicia Young, professional IPD pro bodybuilder, top Olympian. We are out. <laughs>